Mukbang is a social media trend that has caught fire. Eating a large amount of food on camera, all while taking viewers through the meal step by step. Wait a damn minute. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Girl, you've had us all fooled for like months now because for the last like six months I've watched you, I thought you were eating all your food, but your videos have become a little bit sloppy and I don't believe you. I was looking at her videos to see if she was actually eating and I feel like she cut this hot dog in half to make it seem like she actually ate it. I don't know. What I eat in a day at Taco Bell, she doesn't actually eat all this. There are multiple cuts throughout the video. It is incredibly easy to deceive people online. We have never, ever, ever, and I mean ever, seen her swallow a single bite of the food. You think that the YouTubers finish up the tons of the food? Analyze it. There are multiple cuts throughout the video. I know they seem smooth and seamless, but if there is any cut in the video, I'm extremely skeptical. It is incredibly easy to deceive people online. To prove this, I did a little experiment of my own the other day. I convinced my following I ate a whole tub of mayonnaise, when in fact, it was just Greek yogurt. Also, her camera dies halfway through the video, so she has to switch to her phone, I think. Like, it's your first YouTube video. How is your camera not, like, fully charged? She could have purged right after this. She could have went off camera during the cuts and came back a couple hours later and finished the food. But even after all this, I do believe her video to be real, but I know for a fact not every single video of hers is real and that she has spit out some of the food in the past. I faked the whole thing. Yes, the 120,000 calorie challenge was fake. 120,000 calories in 48 hours just, it's not real. It's not, it's, it's not humanly possible. I hate the unrealistic numbers of what has come to YouTube genre, the YouTube eating genre, the competitive eating genre, whatever you want to call it. The numbers, it's just, 
it's just ridiculous and it's, it's the reason why you know I, I I did the video the whole video was fake one I didn't use a timer the time if I would have used the timer the whole vid it would have been I probably could have done it like made it look legitimate the way I did but it would have been just a thousand times harder and what I did with the video and the editing was extremely tedious to begin with. How I was able to make you guys, to manipulate you guys into thinking that I legitimately ate 101,000 calories in 48 hours. Because it was a lot of spitting out food. I didn't come close to eating most of it. I think I'll eat about 15. I don't know what massive bites of the donuts, his mouth is like holding all of the food, and then he reaches for the donut to show the camera, conveniently hiding his face. There's a slight jump cut and then bam, there's no food in his mouth. Within seconds that food is just gone. Now some of you might think, okay well maybe that was just like an editing mistake. Um, I thought so at first, but then I did some more research and I found a lot more videos like that. If every mukbanger really ate all the food in their videos, they'd weigh nearly as much as Nikocado Avocado does. It is quite literally impossible to eat these ginormous portions of all of this unhealthy food like baby dumplings is and not see a single change to your body.